One of the most challenging and, and, and creative and inventive things that we can co-create together if you're a coach uh, or an NLP practitioner, uh, the whole range of, of very uh, useful techniques, you can be terrific at those, those techniques, and often many people that I see are, but somehow you feel that it's not quite working the way it should, or in many cases, it's not working, and, and you know you have good intentions, and the client has good intentions, and you know that you have expertise. Uh, here the importance is to realize that we can only go so far with intellectual, logical, linear thinking. Uh, coaching is based on linear thinking. Linear uh, thinking is only responsible for less than 5% of all behavioral change. Uh, if the client is responding well in a linear approach to everything you're doing, we have no reason to have this conversation. But most clients at some point, even if they're doing well, get stuck or you get stuck within yourself. So the importance is to realize that 95% of all behavioral change starts in the unconscious, non-linear mind. So you have to be able to also have a vocabulary, a non-linear vocabulary that allows you to speak to the unconscious mind to uh, untie the knot that may be preventing your logical and linear and productive techniques from working effectively. Uh, when you have an understanding and add the understanding of the Ericksonian process, because it's a little different than some of the techniques, it's not a technique that you apply and it works. It's a process that you first have to understand. Once you understand the process, it's like a, an atomic reactor when you apply the technique, because now you have all the power because you understand the process, then you apply the technique, you're going to have success. If you just think, oh, I'll pick up Ericksonian techniques, what you have is a lot of techniques, but nothing that uh, powers them, nothing that transforms them into something that helps your client to change. But one of the most uh, uh, exciting and challenging times is to work with people so that, so that you can have a, a linear and non-linear approach and know when to integrate and use both, when to know to use one versus the other. Um, uh, to me, one of the things that it just feels sad is so many really talented and well-trained people in the field get discouraged and they give up the, the NLP practice or their coaching practices and so on because they just, they just don't feel that they're effective. Uh, that doesn't have to happen if you expand your range and, and incorporate it. And there are many times where you'll want uh, a kind of a nonlinear opening and then the person is available for a very productive coaching session.